Hi, in this today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a CNAME on Namecheap website. Of course, of, of your domain name. So the first thing you'd like to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course, in your case, you can use whatever browser is working for you in your PC or whatever you're using. So once you opened it, go to the URL section and simply type Namecheap dot com and hit the enter button that should take you into this page which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the website of course if you have an account make sure to go and click at sign in and enter your username with password then click at sign in to log in into your account if you don't have an account make sure to click at sign up to create your account you'll need to provide them with some informations and of course there's not the, there is no quick way of like using your google account or something like that to create an account Choose whatever suits you of those, and once you're logged into your account, you'll find yourself on a website or a screen like this. Here, as we said, we would like to add a CNAME. So the first thing that we'd like to do, of course, is just go to our domain list here on the list panel. Make sure to select this domain list. And here, of course, you'll find your domain names if you have them. If you don't, you'll have to go and buy some. And of course, once you select or choose the domain name that you would like to add the CNAME on it, make sure to click on it on manage. Just go and navigate through it and then click add this advanced DNS tab. Once you are here, make sure to scroll down a bit until you find this host records. Make sure now to go and click add add a new record. And now, of course, just look from here at the CNAME record. Click on it and now you would like to add the host, the target, and of course, make sure to choose if you want it to be automatical or so just choose the TLL for you if you want it to be automatical or 60 minutes. And of course, you have here stuff to just choose from. Once you finish, hit this or save all changes and you'll be good to go. So that's actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.